Hello and welcome to another episode of the FDM Printed SLA Printer. This time we built the UV Reflector. And as always, let's just have a look on the parts that we need. We need some 3D printed parts, the UV Reflector Frame, the UV Light Diffuser. The diffuser is just a thin plate and has to be printed out of transparent material. Our main component in this build are mirror tiles made of thin flexible PET. Not only that it is highly reflective, it's also relatively lightweight and can easily be cut by the use of ordinary skizzes. And paper templates come in handy when it comes to drawing the right shapes on the back of the mirror tiles. Well, it's quite obvious that those mirror tiles are capable of reflect light within the visible range of the wavelength spectrum. The question is if they are also capable to reflect light within the UV wavelength spectrum. So let's find this out. For the purpose of this test I prepared a UV flashlight together with an UV sensitive plate. While the UV light beam of the UV flashlight moves across the UV sensitive plate, it leaves a visible trace that vanishes after a couple of seconds. With those tools we can easily test the reflective capabilities of the PET mirror tiles. We just need to point away the UV light beam of the flashlight from the sensitive area of the test plate. When we then redirect the light beam by the use of our PET mirror tiles and have a visible trace on our sensitive plate, then we have to prove that these mirror tiles are capable of reflecting UV light. And just for fun, one more time. And without any doubt, these mirror tiles are capable of reflect UV light. So let's start by cutting the paper templates. The additional tabs on the shapes of these paper templates will later on help to interconnect the individual mirror tiles to each other. For a first test fit those tabs need to be bent. Well, it turns out that our paper templates fit quite well, so we can continue with cutting the mirror tiles. The mirror tiles come with two protective sheets. A transparent blue one that protects the mirror side and a yellow one that protects the adhesive side. We keep the protective sheets in place for the time that we cut the mirrors into shape. Later on we of course need to remove them.
Well, I think you've got the idea, so let's speed it up a little bit. Well, when it comes to bending of those tabs, the mirror tiles are quite stiff and uh, nevertheless they can be bent and also with a sharp edge by the use of some pliers. Now it's time to peel off the protective sheets and to apply the mirror ties to the reflector frame. Well, I think you've got the idea, so let's speed it up a little bit. This makes already a pretty good reflector, but unfortunately the adhesive layer of the mirror tiles does not work very well together with the material of the 3D printed reflector frame. Therefore we need to apply some additional glue from the outside to connect the tiles to the frame. What I've used here is some two component type of glue, but I'm pretty sure there are other types of glue out there that also do the work.
there's just one more thing left to do. It's the installation of the transparent diffuser plate inside the reflector channel. A drop of glue in each of the four edges should be sufficient. Well, that's all for today. I hope you found the information interesting and also hope to see you maybe next time with another episode of the FDM Printed SLA Printer.